Hey there friends, what's going on? It's Kodiak here and welcome back to another Biomutant Survival Guide video. Today we are talking about resistance gear, the ultimate resistance gear and the gear that's going to get you through all of the extreme zones in the game. Now there are five different zones within the game that you're going to have to contend with. The heat zones, the cold zones, the radioactive zones, the biohazard zones, and the asphyxia zones. Now each of the zones functions in pretty much the same way other than the asphyxia zone, which is a bit different, but ultimately you're kind of dealing with the same problem. When you enter one of these zones with no resistance gear or anything below 100% resistance gear, you're going to see a ticker in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Depending on what zone you're in, that number will either go up or down, but as it does reach the extreme edge, you'll start to take damage. Now the only way to counteract the extreme condition is to get resistance gear, and there are a few ways that we can get our resistances up in Biomutant. You can use mutation points to increase your resistances by 10% per point. This is easily the best way to get your resistances up. I personally believe this is way too generous, but it's a system in the game. We're going to use it and we're going to use it to its maximum potential. Now you can also find pieces of loot out in the world that have various resistance stats. It's not always going to be super straightforward. You may have 9% here, 20% there, but you can build out outfits that allow you to combine those pieces to create a decent resistance set, whether it be for heat or cold or one of the other extreme zones within the game. Now the reason you clicked on this video is of course because you want to know where the best resistance sets are in the game. And as always with everything in Biomutant, it comes down to knowing where to look. There are a number of quests, five to be exact, that all take place at ping dishes, which are just basically satellites. Now this process is really straightforward. You're gonna go to one of the ping dish sites, you're gonna deal with the horde of enemies outside of the ping dish location, and there is usually one that's fully covered in armor, and in case you didn't know this, you have to melee that one, your ranged weapons will not work. Once you've cleared out the enemies, go to the ping dish and do the rotation puzzle. As always, line up everything and you will have access to the satellite. Once you unlock the satellite, turn it until you get a strong signal. The faster the rings are pulsating, the closer you are to the signal, and once you lock it in, commit your action, and then there will be a small cutscene that basically says, hey, go check out over here, we've got a signal. Next up, just track the quest and you'll end up at a bunker. Now the thing is, you can only access this bunker once you do the ping dish, and there have been some bugs in the review version of the game, so just be careful, do the ping dish first, then go to the bunker. There's a good chance you're gonna run across one of these bunkers sooner than actually doing a ping dish, so don't get frustrated if you can't get in. There's always a method to the madness. Now after that, it's pretty simple. It's just like any other bunker in the game. Run to the back, find the locker, and claim your prize. Like I mentioned, there are five sets of gear in the game. Each corresponds to a different extreme element, and the good thing is you can actually mix and match these to make an ultimate resistance set that's not locked into every single piece of gear in that particular set. For instance, all of the headpieces give you 20% resistance in one particular extreme element, all of the jackets give you 75% resistance in a given element, and all of the pants give you 50%. So you can combine them to create different sets of gear, and remember, you do have five outfit slots that you can use to mix and match your gear. Eventually, you'll get to a point in your progression where you can basically run into any zone and not have to worry about your resistances, but at the beginning parts of the game, and even in the mid parts of the game, you're gonna need these sets of gear and honestly it's worth doing and it doesn't take a lot of time now as always guys we are not here to stretch out videos and hopefully you appreciate that so if you do give us a like on the video consider subscribing to the channel and of course join us on discord we've got a great community of nearly 7,000 members with a special section dedicated just to biomutant so check out the link below to join up finally if you like the channel and you want to help us out even more you can now become a member for the cost of a cup of coffee you're helping evolve the channel and take our community to that next level check out the join button below to learn more my name is kodiak and from everyone here at legacy gaming thanks for watching and play on